Are you okay? I was looking at my mark. <laughs> <laughs> I see you wore your Christmas colors, brown and black. Brown and black, that's right. Second win, what's that? Oh, uh, shameless plug. Is that the new uh, workout place that opened next to all, all Anytime Fitness? 24 hour fitness, uh, we bulk and cut and burn. Or is that the, the gastroenterologist's office? It's a mechanic in Dungeons and Dragons where a fighter can use its second win to get a, a third action on their turn. But you can only use it once per long or short rest. I think that's the only time anyone's ever said Dungeons and Dragons and action in the same sentence. <laughs> what about the director of the Dungeons and Dragons movie? Oh, he got me there. Well, everyone, <laughs> it's a magical Christmas time. <laughs> Would you look at this? Rich is so clever. He, he, he is. I was making a lame sex joke and he one-upped me. Yeah, you went back to nerd tropes and it's not, it's cool to be a nerd it's now. It's not fun to punch down. That's right. Unless you're hitting a dwarf. Okay, so it's, uh, it's another, another Christmas episode. And this one is special because we've never done a Christmas Plinketto. Look, uh, Rich wrapped the entire Plinketto board. What a gift yeah. for all humankind. Well, well, yeah, yeah, sure, uh, <laughs> uh, sure. But the real gifts are below. We have oh, an assortment yeah. of Christmas movies and it should be noted, we've thrown in some New Year's Eve movies. It's all in the same season. Holiday. The only uh, uh, religious holiday that appears in the month of December is, of course, Christmas. Uh, and the only, like, federal holiday would be New Year's Day, New Year's Eve. Um, and, you know, so why not celebrate both of the two major holidays? The only two. At the end of the year, The Christmas only two holidays. And New Year's. Hey, hold on. I've got to call my lawyer. Okay. Check with your lawyer on my statements. Uh, so, uh, first um, on the board, we have Jack Frost. Mm, that, which is not to be confused with the Michael Keaton movie that came out at the same time. Oh, or, I Like the same day they, they came were out. the same. Yeah. I thought Michael Keaton was in the horror Jack Frost. No, is that not true? This is not true. Michael Keaton was a loving father who died and his ghost inhabited a snowman. This is about a snowman that rapes a lady in a shower. Uh, after that, we have Silent Night, Deadly Night 5, The Toy Maker. Oh, oh as someone uh, who enjoys the Puppet Master series, I think I'm looking forward to that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, it's probably going to be something like that. I see a bunch of, bunch of scary haunted toys. I see a lot of stuffed animals. They're mostly, yeah, animals. There's the, there's the OG Annabelle doll, oh. the, ra the Raggedy Ann <laughs> doll, yeah. the, the, the real haunted Annabelle doll. And there's a bear and a bunch of animals. I think here's wolf. the really scary thing is someone at one point paid $3.25 for this. Santa's summer house. Cynthia Rothrock. Ooh. Just, is uh, there gonna be kicking in this movie? I don't know. There's a whole bunch of characters and then there's the Dogecoin dog is oh. in it apparently. Uh, I don't know, summer themed, uh, uh, that one looks more wholesome than the, the murderous ones that come before it. Yeah, so we don't like that one And much. after it. Yeah. Oh, then speaking of after it, bloody new year. Uh, I think 10 out of 10 for cover. Yeah. Skeleton, uh, googly eyes, and a little uh, horn blower. I'm, I'm there for it. Yeah, yeah. I don't even need to see the movie. I love the cover. Okay. Oh well, yeah, that's a winner for sure. Yeah. Me Christmas. Uh, <laughs> M E E, uncapitalized, lowercase capitalization on Christmas as well. Uh, and then there's two aliens, yeah. uh, CGI aliens and sleds. That uh. looks like a big pile of dog shit. Well, this next ah! film is, uh, it's a twofer, and I don't know which one we're gonna watch. Do we have to watch both? That's the question. That's a real good question. Th that's like the double whammy. That's the, the ultimate diss is we have to watch both. Is that Phil Hartman? On, on the, the top, it, with wearing the Santa hat? Uh, I believe that is Judd Nelson. Oh. As Cancel Christmas, starring Judd Nelson. Oh, this is Phil Hartman. Ha. <sighs> Next we have uh, the, is this called December or is this called New Year's Evil? I, I believe the calendar is, a, is part of the graphic and the official title would be Canon Video. <laughs> <laughs> 
Next is another crappy animated movie, A Christmas Journey, about the blessings God gives. This actually looks pretty, uh, like, generically bad. I don't even know why this is on. I don't know. Next up, uh, I know I'm a big fan of superheroes in general, so I can't wait to watch Elfman. Well, Jack, I guess it's time to find out which movies we're going to watch. Yeah. But who's going to drop the ball? What? Oh. 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 Why, it's... Santa Claus. He is real. That's the real Santa Claus. Sure is. That's really Santa Claus. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Filled with holiday cheer and Christmas joy. Hi, Santa. Okay, Santa. It's time for you to pick the first movie. Is that Cole? Oh! Oh! Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> Santa! <laughs> well, Santa has dropped his hat and coal and picked Cancel Christmas or Christmas Magic, one of the two. I don't know which. Ah. Oh, God. Ew. Okay. Well, Jack, what's the first movie that Santa dropped a lump of coal on? A Hallmark Christmas Spectacular, Cancel Christmas, starring Judd Nelson. Oh boy. Imagine Santa's surprise when the Christmas Board of Directors issues an ultimatum. In 30 days or less, make Christmas less commercial and material or lose it forever. Why would the Board of Directors want Christmas to be less commercial? The Christmas Board of Directors. This like is Jesus? Like Jesus. Jesus. And the apostles. Santa and Hanukkah Harry all got together and were like, whoa, too many, uh, too many, too many shoppings. Women. Baby shopping. Women be shopping? Shop <laughs> what is this about? That's it. That's the whole, that's it. I think, I think that Judd Apatow, Judd Nelson, I think that Judd Nelson is Santa Claus. Maybe? I don't fucking know. Let's go watch it. Right, Santa? Adam Claymore. His mother is a teacher at Riverbrook Academy. He was put into a wheelchair last year after a car accident that also took the life of his father. Can you oh, undo that with Santa magic? <laughs> <laughs> I can with no more contract. That your influence has inspired an attitude The board vetoed my <laughs> proposition. <laughs> Farley Morgan, age 14, only child. Farley lives with his father, Charles Morgan. Farley's mother, Michelle, died of Lou Gehrig's disease when Farley was 13. Click the appropriate icon in the drop-down menu. Come in. Just researching kids. <laughs> Nothing weird. Just <laughs> looking at children on the internet. Me and my friend. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Player's choice. Oh. Why I pick this one, Silent Night, Deadly Night 5. Uh, that's the one I was hoping for. You were going to pick this as well, right? So I was going to, you, you're going to pick that or I'm going to pick it? Well, we both picked it, I think. Uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night 5, The Toy Maker. Now, we did watch Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. Day. Huh? No. <laughs> oh, that's Mickey Rooney. Oh, America's Sweetheart. Yeah. A per Mickey Rooney portrays toy maker Joe Petto. <laughs> P-E-T-T-O. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's different. Uh, yeah. It's different. Unfortunate name for a child's toy maker. Cancelled Christmas, am I right? Uh, in this fun and fear-packed continuation of the Silent Night series, as the story opens, it looks like a fright Christmas for young Derek Quinn. He's seen what living horrors lurk inside the brightly wrapped boxes from Pedo's shop. Could they have picked a different name? They, they really should have. An experience that left him mute. Okay, well, that's <laughs> not bad. Mute! Um, I guess he was a bad actor. 
Uh, now he can't even scream when the deadly toys come to life again in his own fucking house. <laughs> Jesus. Wait, does it? Yeah, it's right there. Own fucking house, wow. Oh. Uh, so who's behind the terror? Well, they already told us, it's Joe Petto. And the terrible flying toy maker. That's my fa that's my least favorite Batman oh, villain. They answered the question right after they asked it. Who's behind the terror? Oh wait, is it Jolly Joe? His mysterious son Pino Petto? Or even the strange newcomer named Noah? Don't wait another moment to find out. This one's all wrapped up with one place to go. Your home. <laughs> what? I guess they're, they're talking about the tape itself? I don't know. Let's go watch it. Come on, Derek. Say something. Talk to me. What are you doing? He wants them scrambled. <laughs> <laughs> this kid sucks. He's conveniently mute now. <laughs> that was a decision they made after they started shooting. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was Mickey Rooney. Uh. Oh, Jesus. How confusing. <laughs> oh, my God, Mike. I thought you were making up a joke name when you said Pino Petto. No. Those are his children. <laughs> his other, ki his other <laughs> kid's uh, child's name is, uh, is, is Kid Fucker. <laughs> that one is a little less subtle. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, oh, he lost his hat again, but he's got one more coal. Oh no. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh me God. Christmas. Oh, why it landed on me Christmas. Ew. It's a holiday miracle. We get to watch boogers, boogers for Christmas. All right, so let's uh, go watch me Christmas. <laughs> Me Christmas, huh? That looks awful. Hey. Hey guys. Sorry I'm late. Is it time to film the bit where I'm Santa Claus yet? Well, can we all agree this is the worst Christmas best of the worst ever? This is becoming a terribly disturbing pattern. We should not have done this. We could have faked it at any time. We could have yeah. faked it. We could have picked three really interesting films, but we chose to do a Plinketto, which was something new. Yeah. And uh, we, we left it up to Santa Claus himself to drop lumps of coal down the Plinketto board and select our films for us. And this is what we must deal with. Well, I guess even Santa has a bad day. We shouldn't let someone who's not real pick the movies. Santa's real. There could be children watching. Shut your <laughs> trap. Because it's Alf. <laughs> Why don't you tell us about Cancel Christmas? No. That's what proves that Santa's I'm real. absolutely not going to. It's because that's about real Santa Claus. It's about Claus. the real Santa Claus as played, played by, by Jude Law. Addict. <laughs> this, this isn't like you get at the big name. And he films it from his living room. They film it in a day, and then they just intersperse the footage throughout the movie. Oh, no. Like, he stars in this. He went to yeah. Vancouver. You know how we look on the outside doesn't matter. It's what's inside that counts. Oh, my God. That's awful. This is his <laughs> Santa <laughs> choice? <laughs> anyway, so he has to uh, improve the lives of two roustabouts and one kid that's just depressed because... He got in a car accident and things are bad for him and his and his and his dad died. So wait, he has a mission or Christmas is canceled? Is that the threat? Yes. yes. It's a mission to put a kid in a wheelchair. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> now that'd be funny. Santa has to maim somebody to keep Christmas going. That's a premise. This is what we this is the Christmas Saw movie we've been waiting for. This is perfect. Is the chair temporary? Permanent. Sucks. My dad died too. Oh, <laughs> oh, no! Jesus. Fuck, so, so. kid! 
That's what you get for not Over paying share. attention. Oh, yeah, yeah, my mom's dead too. <laughs> hey. Oh. <laughs> you can't reach it. Oh. No, no, it's my book. <laughs> <laughs> I love to read. I'm a dog. <laughs> oh no, Santa's in trouble. The the board has decided that Christmas isn't working. What? And Santa has I, I don't know like a week or something to prove that he can give three children the Christmas spirit just in time for the holidays. If they don't, Christmas will lose its funding and be canceled. Boom! He's gotta, he's gotta teach the, the, the crippled child to want to do things. You guys have to yeah. stop saying he's crippled. Gotta, he's gotta make <laughs> the, can't do crippled. the bully on his, and his friend become nice people and one of the bully's father is a corporate jackass. That's the setup. Dinner's ready, sir. Thanks for okay, Walt Disney. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. Holy shit! <laughs> wow! Papa, oh, that's not his dad. Hi, no, that's his butler. Oh! Yeah, I'm just finishing it now. Have you not seen the Batman? Oh. <laughs> it's, 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 is this yeah. dog the Batman? It, no, this is it. This is the does, Batman. Is that the Batman? Yeah, no, the boy. <laughs> the boy is the Batman. Oh. So not the character of the Batman, you mean the movie, The Batman. The boy is the movie, The Batman. <laughs> oh, okay. So no, I've not seen this boy before, Jack. <laughs> the board is not pleased with the current state of affairs. Affairs. They're like adjusting the shots yeah, while they're rolling. It's a style thing. Are they trying to be like NYPD blue and cancel Christmas? Well, uh, Judd Nelson's wearing a terrible Santa Claus costume, which is supposed to be him as real Santa Claus. And then when Lady says go down to Earth to solve the problems of three rich white children like literally south. in a Canadian school for some reason, <laughs> or else Christmas is canceled. Oh, which right. is in Atlanta. Uh, Canadian which is, Atlanta. Oh, yeah, Can 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 Atlanta. Yeah, where it rains um, a lot. Uh, and then he's like, oh, I'm going to look like a person. So he wears this like flashy red suit, and yeah. he kind of looks like, like the devil. Good pay. Frostbite insurance, unlimited free hot chocolate, and two weeks paid winter vacation in Boca Raton, the community for all seasons. <laughs> who are you? He's the elf. I know that. He's but recruiting other elves. Disgusting. The janitor should be like, who the fuck are you? Oh, he's trying to take his job so he can be the janitor, so he can spy on two boys uh, that are naughty. Uh, so this whole thing is about Judd Nelson is, and his elf spying on two boys? Three boys. Three boys? Three Three boys? boys they have nice. to infuse them with the Christmas spirit. Oh. That's his mission. He looks like, he's in red, he looks like Satan. This looks like a horror film. Oh my god. Like, look at that. Yes. Like, this, this is not Santa Claus. He looks Claus. like a pervert. He looks he like just, evil. Did he just Santa magic someone to quit their job? No, the elf did. The elf did. When, when uh, I keep wanting to say Tim Allen. What's his name? Judd Jud, <laughs> Jud Nelson. Judd Nelson. Judd Nelson and his the weird Jones. friend. He, his weird friend, his the associate. smiley guy, appears, and uh, they're, they're, they kill the janitor, and they take over his job, <laughs> and then they're just like, we're the new janitors, and then he's like, he's like, ma'am? We're the new janitors in I, town. I would love a fancy a spot to live in, and a roof to stay. He's, uh, Judd Nelson's doing his grandpa he's voice. British? I don't know. <laughs> okay. And she's like, I have a spare room. You and your weird friend can live in this, it's, it's a twin size bed. Yes, and there's only one bed. And he's like, that's capital. My associate tells me that Mr. Johnson was renting a room from you. Would you like to come over and have a look? No need. My associate and I sorely need a roof over our heads. We'll take it. Does he think he's in a horror movie? That's what like, did he, <laughs> did he not give him any direction? He's trying to act like an old man, I think. He, like, oh, no, yes. Is that what that's yeah, supposed to yeah, be? Yes, yeah. he's trying to act like Santa. Oh, boy. Santa's supposed to be jolly. Well, he's, Santa's <laughs> disguising creepy. himself. Ooh. <sighs> I'm gonna, ooh, breathe creepily in <laughs> Let me, let me look at you like a sex pervert. Ooh. Meet my elf friend. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna share a room, huh? See, part of the problem is that he's been referring, I'm sure she thinks that his associate is his boyfriend. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Santa Claus comes off like Vincent Price. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's about that, I guess. Quite Forget quite. Jeffrey Combs if this was Vincent Price. <laughs> <laughs> Do you my have a room for rent? <laughs> my associate and I need a room. Only one bed? That's fine. <laughs> he does not do warm or jolly. Yeah. Which no. are like the two 
core components of Santa Claus. No, he does weird and alienating and far too knowledgeable. It reminds me a lot of when uh, when Zack Snyder took over Superman and just kind of like forgot all of the Superman-y stuff. Yeah. And and so like this is Superman as a creepy, awkward alien mm. who's spying on all the children. Mm. And that. Randy and Santa Claus would be the <laughs> funniest thing in the world. That's kind of what we get here, corporate Ob Santa Claus. Objectivist Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> you don't deserve the presents. Did you earn your presents through your labor? <laughs> then I don't have to give them to you. You should make your <laughs> own presents. <laughs> Pull yourself up by your present straps. <laughs> <laughs> now, now get in this sweatshop. <laughs> but I don't. I don't necessarily think that that. Judd Nelson couldn't do warm and jolly. He just didn't want to, yeah. and nobody told him not it's to. Just not that tight. He, yeah. he makes a good Lucifer in the red suit. They should make a fucking Christmas movie where Satan has to learn the spirit of Christmas. Isn't that Santa not and Satan switch spots at, uh, oh like God. a body swap thing? Like, oh, like a Freaky Friday? Freaky Friday? Friday yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! And Santa's down there, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> And just just call it Satan Santa with a little slash in between into it. Yeah. What is what is Satan having the elves make? Oh, there's oh. there's so many possibilities here. And Santa has oh. to learn to like torture people and how. <laughs> And he, he, oh, he, no. In order to keep up the disguise, you know. All I know is giving people coal. Wait, it makes the fire hotter. Oh, oh, wait, wait. It turns out though he's a natural at it because he's got the, he's already got like the naughty list thing going for That's him, right? right? That's right. Yeah. Santa just kind of loses himself into the satanic role. And then Satan has to teach Santa how to be Santa again. <laughs> they have to help each other to solve the problem oh, at the end. Oh, I love it. Only got 15 minutes till they come in. Oh my God. What? <laughs> Put in a fucking star white transition there or anything. A little flash of white. Yeah, it was just a hard cut. It didn't even match. How did you? Fast bus. Why does he have an Italian accent? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> hey, we're making a Christmas like a mama used to. It's a bell felt. His whole performance is like what Rich was doing earlier when he intentionally threw yeah. the seed. <laughs> hey guys, sorry I'm running late. Is it time for me to film the Santa Claus bit yet? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about how awful his elf is? Yeah, he, he's not good. Like, he is not good. He does not uh, work well with the material. He doesn't uh, act well off of other people. He has a weird looking face. He's very uncomfortable as a grandma. I'm yeah. sure he, he smells a, bad. He has a granny drag scene Hell that's yeah. just. And he's kind of pissy super about it. Yeah. Amazingly out of place yeah. because it's the emotional scene for the father. I bet you help people all the time. <laughs> you know, I could really use a man's point of view. It, clearly, you're a man in a wig. That's <laughs> <laughs> pretending to be an old lady. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah. I was hoping he was dead. I said, let's look him up on IMDb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, uh, just because... I don't is, doubt Is it. this how I should play it? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. We gotta we wrap got, this up. We got 58 scenes to film tonight. Let's go. I don't care how you fucking play it. Just say the lines. It's December 3rd. This is airing December 5th. We got, let's go. We got three more... Holiday Hallmark movies to make tonight. I'm making five movies in this school. Can we fucking move? It's Hallmark's 30 days, 98 movie Christmas marathon. Everyone's got a brand new. Now, Jack, I have come to learn that you are apparently a Hallmark Christmas connoisseur. Yes, I'm a big fan of uh, schmaltzy Hallmark holiday movies. Do they still make them fair, like this? Like with, with the stupid plot? And the, like, because yes. every one I see on TV, when I'm watching them in their entirety, um, are are just like two attractive people that that have a magical and there's a little conundrum. Yeah, they're complete opposites. You brought a cowboy for Christmas. But the spirit of the season. Christmas is about being with the people you love. Will bring them together. Winter wonderlands weren't her thing. I do not do winter. Until a little Christmas spirit melted her heart. Winning is everything. You use every trick you've got up your sleeve. But sometimes. It's supposed to be a celebration of Christmas. You just can't beat falling in love. Oh, and then the love blossoms. And it's really focused more on love. This is like 
His disease. mother died of like uh, Parkinson's MS, disease. I say. Yeah, she's First like. First of all, they have her death video playing on loop in his bedroom. That's a kid. That's a, that's the that that's the kid. rich kid yeah, no, whose mother died, died of Lou Gehrig. Okay, the crippled he child's injured. father died in a car accident. Okay, sorry. Probably the same car accident that made him a filthy cripple. Oh. Specifically the same <laughs> car accident. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say filthy cripple? You, yeah. <laughs> he's very clean. He's very I just, clean. I meant a pathetic filthy cripple. I can do it myself. I mean, he still hasn't figured out how to get in the door. Also, if this is your house, put up a fucking little ramp there, <laughs> Mom. This is your house <laughs> with your kid in the wheelchair. She can't afford one. She just said she can't afford it. Too many medical bills. Oh, okay. So that means he was on the porch for hours. <laughs> <laughs> she can't afford a fucking slanted piece of wood. Is what you tell me? Did the car accident? Was the car accident so violent that it gave the mom MS? No, that was a different mom. <laughs> that's the wrong, it's it not. It shook her that's genetic a, makeup up so that's hard. That's a different mom. The shockwave rippled through town okay. and infected that mom, yes. Okay, but and my, then there's a third kid. The third kid is the, the conundrum because- He just he, wants to play paintball. You really should, yeah, he, he went back He's and forth. He's the lackey. You yeah. should have had the mean kid who learns the Christmas spirit and the, and the sad, sad, lonely, pathetic, crippled child who- sad, Every dog. Sad, um, pathetic. And they, they, and then they're at odds. Like yeah. the baby, he bullies him, and he pushes his wheelchair. Well, and that's over where they and... start. They start <laughs> with them, like those two kids. The wheels. They start with those kids as, as vaguely antagonistic, but they're not really actually mean to the kid in the wheelchair. They're more mean they got to out for Judd, uh, Judd Apatow, Judd, uh, Judd Nelson. Nelson. Judd well, Apatow, just, Judge the, Nelson, Judge Reinhold. The main thing Whatever. is Judge Judy. those guys. Judge. Those two kids Judge hate Judy. janitors. Yeah, they, they, yeah. they do not like janitors. They they throw a they they set up a, a catapult to throw a, a water balloon at the janitor and they don't feel bad about it and then uh, oh, you, you Santa, can't tell from those clips that janitor is Santa Claus who looks nothing like Santa Claus I'm the janitor Steve I was just about to head home did you get to see the science fair in, in a there was some there was some weird sexual subtext going on here and I don't know what was going on you know studying works two ways right when you're in my classroom Studying the material I give you, I'm also studying you. That's creepy. Oh, oh. To say out loud. Fired. And every other kid in my classroom. And when I look at you... Yeah. You're making it worse, ma'am. I probably would have balled you out and sent you to the principal's office. Balled, balled you out? Balled you out. And I, probably I heard balled you out. I heard balled you out. <sighs> That's how it starts. <laughs> oh, did I say that? Whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, the, the way they shoot it, and I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to get too visual here into yeah. this particular topic, but the kid comes in the room and she's got a, like a kind of a short skirt hiked up and her legs are crossed. You see her legs in a side view when they could have filmed her head on sure. behind the desk, but yeah. you see her legs. Did you just tell him not to get bullied around by Farley, yeah. whatever? Is that what she said? I think yeah. so. Yeah, I think she's serious. trying to fuck him too. I don't, I don't <laughs> we're, pretty, we're pretty sure she's trying to fuck him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was too focused on pretending she's a pedophile to pay attention to what she was saying. <laughs> like the soft erotic lighting, yeah. candlelight it's, is yeah. really distracting. I think these are hallmark professionals who are used to filming romantic shit, and they're just they're just applying the formula they always apply to the scene where it's completely out of place. But they're just they're just I think oh. they're just. What's when it comes to pretty lady, doing so what like, they know. Okay. Yeah. So it's just like soap opera tempo where it's just like, we got to get this, we got to go, 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 go. Yeah. We got to yeah. shoot this in a week and a half because we only have Judd Nelson for seven days. Yeah. And we pretty only lady can... in scene We've... makes pretty lady look and, pretty. And, and yeah. We've way... got to make 37 Christmas movies this month. <laughs> Why don't you bring your solar robot to the science fair? Why is he, Why is he here? Don't invite students into your house. I think that's like actu an actual rule. I would imagine. Can. Is she gonna start drawing a bath and like getting in a little lingerie? <laughs> like, like. Here's here's something more important with her and her disabled son. Uh, she does what not. What does that mean? You mean crippled? The point is that she does not have a way to easily get her son into her house. But that's the thing. There was that one scene where she couldn't. Yeah, she couldn't afford to build a ramp, and so we were pretty sure he was just out on the porch for like a few hours. For, no, he must have had to been on the porch for days. But the thing is, she's like, I don't. Uh, with all the medical bills, I don't have any money to buy a little ramp. Yeah. And uh, she lives in a fairly nice house, and she's also, like, she stopped going upstairs to one of our seven bedrooms, and he chooses to stay in the library. <laughs> I'm like, bitch, sell your house. 
Now I know how Endora must have felt. Hey. No. There's no railings though. It's just gonna fly. Oh, we got, got the one corner. <laughs> the one corner, yeah. The, the, the set carpenter right, didn't okay. want to build it. That oh. what the fuck, jank ass fucking elf work. It looks like like a Polak built it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. It's been a hot minute since I've heard Polak. <laughs> it's been yeah. A as a Polak, it's been a hot I know, minute since I can, I've heard I can, I can, oh, I... Nope, this sucks. This sucks, I hate it. I can't do it. The dog can do it. <laughs> the dog's gonna pull him? Oh my god, that's magical. That dog is not that strong. It's not gonna work, but... It's also just right around his neck. It's just gonna choke. <laughs> it just provides him with a really little... really bad for the dog. Yeah. yeah. This is moving. Good. <laughs> this is you literally, literally. <laughs> he is moving. Oh my god, he almost fell off the corner. <laughs> I want to see that. Yeah, the dog just keeps going forward. <laughs> I can't stop. Like a squirrel runs in the distance. The dog <laughs> just <laughs> dragging it. <laughs> ah! Oh, the HOA says you have to tear all of this down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's jagged nails sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a Polak built it. <laughs> that's, exactly, that's exactly what the HOA was saying. <laughs> the city inspector came here, Polak written all over it. <laughs> got the Polak stamp out. And, uh, I think that would be pretty stellar. Junk Nelson pregnant? <laughs> The kid is so, the kid is too weak or scared to use the ramp that they built for him. So that's so then it's like then we have to move on to some kind of but, fucking fundraiser to get him a robot wheelchair. Like no, what here's, is this? here's the extra fucked Just up. Just show thing. us the tips. <laughs> We got my, we, this wasn't a porno. For the last <laughs> for the last time this wasn't a porno. I kept waiting for someone to fuck that teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no one would. Anybody. I didn't care who. The dad, the kid. Mickey I don't Rooney, fucking know. Somebody Mickey fucked that dog. <laughs> the wheelchair. Somebody fucked this lady. She can have a lesbo scene with the dead mom. Fine. Ghost sex. She just wanders into the videotape. Well, he's yeah. trying to talk to oh, her son. Ghost fucking Christmas funny. lesbians? What no, was... no. The mom's making her heart. Did you guys see The Haunting of Bly Manor? That was basically the plot of that. The, the mom is making <laughs> her, her death video where she's saying goodbye. Oh, she hits cut. On, she thinks she hits cut on the camera. No. Oh. And then the teacher comes in the frame. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, oh, I was just doing that video? fake yeah. death video, and then they start having sex. Yeah. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Oh, jeez. No, I, I don't think that happens. I'm just, just leaving enough. the family. They've got tickets to Aruba. They're running off together. Uh, oh, yes. She's taking her, yeah. like, her, like, de her cancer makeup off. She's like, ah. Oh, and then you got an extra layer of drama because the, the, she goes off to Aruba and the teacher has to stay behind. There's, like, a oh. double cross. Ooh. We got a whole thing going on. And Santa knows about it. Yeah. Because uh, Santa Judd knows Nelson everything. Nelson is flying in a Santa sleigh to, to catch Very them in Aruba. Very naughty list. And mm. Yes. Mm. S, and he knows the best best coke hookups in Aruba. <laughs> sure. And the three of them just party on the beach and have three ways and do coke and drink Coronas and then they forget all about the crippled kid in the wheelchair and his wheelchair falls wow. off. Are they, are, they using, are they using Santa to smuggle the cocaine on Christmas Eve? Sure. Like the sleighs dropping off the presents, they got cocaine hidden in them. Now we got an idea. Make it snow, Santa! <laughs> It's gonna be a white Christmas. Oh! <laughs> wow, this turned into a Harmony Korean movie real fast. Adam? Ah! Adam? Honey, what happened? Ah! <laughs> I was trying to make pasta! You were trying to make pasta! I want a spaghetti! <laughs> <laughs> He's just laying there. Why didn't you God. show it? Why didn't you show it? <laughs> Hello, this is Eric Sanders. Action. <laughs> Remember the news story? Oh. <laughs> the, the script didn't. Well, I think that was our biggest laugh out loud moment was when um, we were that news reporter guy. Yeah. <laughs> So really good on your dick okay. too. Uh, yeah. Can I have a peanut butter sandwich while we film this? <laughs> the news reporter guy. The, oh, they. Oh, the, there's the whole subplot where Judd Nelson as Santa, for no reason at all, decides to be a mall Santa. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas, everyone! Wait, 
That is a fucking what? Why is he posing as a Santa in the mall now? That you're going to get your um, to get his jollies. <laughs> what? They're gonna tell Pun us in a minute. He just misses being Santa. Also, why is he? Why does he have a Bluetooth headset? Yeah. on? Because he's doing his customer service job at the same time. What is happening? Is this a dream? I'm not convinced he's doing a very good job. Maybe he needs to lose his job. <laughs> Maybe they should cancel Christmas. Just come up with something new that works better. Um, he's kind of a shitty Santa. He is a very shitty Santa. I mean, you know what happens around Christmas? The suicide rate goes up. That's true. It's not working. Throw it out. Start the scratch. Throw it out. Throw it out. Oh yeah, he like subs in as a, as yeah. an old Santa because he misses being so, Santa. So I that think? the, the I don't know. photographer could take pictures of him, and every picture he looks like a different Santa. Right. He he appears as to all the children of the world as they choose to see him. Yeah. So, so he, he the the photo the official photographer takes a picture of each kid, and and then he shows the news reporter who sees that it's other very Santa's important different that every Santa time. doesn't reveal himself. That's for some reason that's put in as a stipulation for this Santa has to save Christmas. Yeah. Yes. Why does and yet, what, the white Rich kid think he's Santa to enough enough to steal the mug with his finger. Oh, he doesn't think he's Santa. He just thinks he's creepy. Are those words? It looks like the kid pulled one over on you. No, no, I don't think the kid set me up. I think I found the real Santa Claus. <laughs> no, no! Yay! Yay! The most realistic reaction. Oh, Logical, you missed a genuine logical conclusion. Wow. What, what happened? And now this news reporter is going to break this story, and then that subplot completely dissolves because we no one can know. It's, it's, prob- it's implied to be Santa magic. His camera just doesn't work at the end of the film. He tries to catch him at the end. He's about to drop the F bomb. You can hear it. No! What, where is it? Did he just almost say fuck? <laughs> it bothers me so much because his camera doesn't work, and yet Santa appears in front of, like, what, a dozen people? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And just leaves all these witnesses. You have to come and visit all the time. I will. I'm really proud of you, son. And then the ending is the porch collapses because there's too many people. <laughs> I mean, everyone's crippled. <laughs> that, was a, that was a quote from Ouija. Everyone has these chairs. Yeah, and Santa just leaves. <laughs> My work here is done. <laughs> There's too many people at the porch. It was built by a Polak. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Wow. Coppola, sure. What? What? Whoa, we're back. It's time to talk about our second film. <laughs> Jeez, uh, Mike. <laughs> I just, I want to, I'd love to point, we were, we were in the middle of jibber-jabbing, just keeping our energy up while we were waiting to, you know, start, and, and Mike's segue back in was just screaming. Mm-hmm. Great. Uh, well, jo- well, Josh, no, it, was like, it was like glitching back in. Yeah. It was, it was <laughs> talk about the fucking movie. <laughs> Christ's sake. Like, oh, you're doing this? Apparently. Wait. <laughs> you started with the other one, then Rich took over, so now it's your oh, turn. Oh, okay, great. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't okay. know who's going to talk about me Christmas. Mm, no, no, no one. one. No one. going to hit that with a hammer. So, but. Silent Night, Deadly Night 5. Five. The Toy Maker. Lots to talk about here. Oh, boy. Lots to talk about here. Um, this was not the movie I thought it was going to be. Um, well, okay, let's stop there. What did you yeah. think it was going to be? I, I get, okay, so like the last five minutes of the movie, I thought it was going to be kind of the whole movie. Uh, okay. okay. The, the, the Silent Night, Deadly Night, the, the ones I'm familiar with, involve a, a, just a, a normal old maniac dressed up like Santa Claus killing people on Christmas Eve and or Christmas Day. Yeah. <laughs> This is an evil toy maker who makes killer robot toys. Right. A little twist on uh, Geppetto and uh, Pinocchio. Yeah. For some reason, mixed in. But you're, you're at the fifth film. you got to do something a little different. Right. I guess. No, and, you know, other films have done similar things with killer toys, with killer, like, tiny mechanical things, tiny clockwork things. Uh, and there, it was just so few and far between uh, but when they oh when they hit they hit hard which is great so the movie starts 
Uh, it is Chris. It is Christmas-ish time. A young boy looking out of his window sees a package delivered. That package says, "Don't open till Christmas." He opens it. Uh, oh, his I missed something very drunk. important. This, this his young mom boy is getting deep dicked by someone. Yeah, no, no, Just, no. I guess I you can't know. say that about the end of the movie. What? You certainly can. Oh, yes. You certainly cannot. We get our first killer toy. It's a relatively weak killer toy, as really it just messes with his depth perception. Kind of grabs. And he really ends up killing himself. Yeah, he, it, it's a mishap. Yeah, it's a mishap. He falls on a fire poker. Yeah, there's quite a complex plot here, though. Uh, a little too plot driven, if you Ooh. ask me. Oh, yeah. With our characters, and we have Mickey Rooney as the titular G Joe Petto. On the unfortunately named Petto Toy Company. Petto. Petto. P T T O. Let's hit those I, T's hard. Yeah, we'll hit I, those T's hard. I think we should explain that they're going for Geppetto yes. and Pinocchio. Uh, yes. And, but uh, they really didn't think it through. No, they didn't. We were pretty focused oh. on the people not wanting to be around the Pettos and the Pettos and just, oh, well, let's go to the Petto shop. Oh, that Petto's a weird guy. Petto runs a toy store. Yeah. But um, so that's, uh, and, and of course, we, we make sick juvenile jokes all the time. So it's, of course, in our wheelhouse. Yeah. Mom, you're trying to take me to a store called Petos. Let's not. <laughs> God. Let's not. It's code, Mom. Hello? It's not, it's not even code. It <laughs> Petto? Is, it's exactly, yeah. She's just I'm yelling. looking for a Petto. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any Petos in here? What's the son's name? Pino. Pino. Peen. Pino. 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 But his last Pino name Pino is Pino. Yeah, Pino Petto. Petto. His name is Pino Petto. Petto. Son of a bitch! I'm sorry, Father. I'm so sorry. Shut him up. Oh! Yes. <laughs> Getting your ass kicked by an 80-year-old oh, Mickey God. Rooney. You know what? I would do it. <laughs> you mean I get to have a fight scene with Mickey Rooney? You don't even have to pay me. You don't even have to pay me to be in the movie. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to change the topic and, and bring up that Kyle Reese is in this movie. Sarah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Robots. Green coat and everything. Robots from the future. Sarah. Pedos toys. Come with me if you want to save Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it, it took us a while to kind of realize that this was a Terminator ripoff movie in a weird way. A weird retelling of we Terminator. Were in a strange sort of way. Well, for one, you've got basically Kyle Reese, this guy skulking around in the shadows. We're, we're, we're supposed to not be sure whether or not he's a bad guy, like in the Terminator. Uh -huh. uh, we've got... He's, so, he's, in fact, wearing, like, a green military-esque jacket, a lot like Kyle Reese wears yep. in the Terminator. We do have a robot man in a leather jacket. Who's sneaking that is around the house. stalking a mother named Sarah. Yes. And he really has it out for her son. Well, wait, wait. Kyle Reese shows up, yeah. and Kyle Reese is... He's still, he's looking around for his, what he, you know, he assumes is his biological son. She, she tells him for sure later. Yes. Right? But he's yeah, got an know, inkling. We don't know that though. Yeah, we don't know that until the end. But he's, he's, he buys a bunch of toys from Joe Petto's uh, workshop and then he's living in a hotel. Correct. Yeah. And he's at, pulling apart the Ecto-1. He knows that they're toys that kill people? No, no. he doesn't. No, he doesn't. It, this, okay. is, this is never explained. It's only in there to throw him in as a red herring, like he's the toy killer, it, but he's not. It is he explained. He just happens to have a, ho uh, a motel room that's well, filled doesn't... with toys that he's tinkering with yeah. for no reason. I don't mean to um actually you, but they do explain that. Why, why does he have a fucking hotel room full of toys? Because he remembers that Joe Petto has been accused of making yes, uh, a, a right. dangerous toys to purposely harm children in okay, the Okay, hold up though. Okay. But but he didn't remember it until he went into the shop. So he's buying toys to check to see if they're dangerous? Yes. I'm not intrigued. <laughs> but then why does he take the one toy that he should have known is dangerous because he knows it came from Joe Petto's basement and gives it to the hotel they owner? They all came from the Petto shop. But he doesn't know. That uh, Willy Worm he owes is dangerous. The, he owes the hotel guy money. Yeah. Maybe he's actually hoping that is a killer toy so he will get out of debt. This better be good. Oh, yeah, it's to die for. Wow. Wow. <laughs> 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 
an ADR session. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy oh, shit! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good work, Larry. Oh god! Oh, oh. It's still going. Oh, oh please go off a cliff. Yeah! 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 Slow, oh. slow. Oh. yeah. there for that. This is good. Not much of a cliff. He conveniently crashed in this big open area with nothing around. <laughs> <laughs> so and, and also Thanks on top of that, Joe Petto, aka Mickey Rooney, or not not him, but his son, uh, Pino. Pino, is planting evil toys at the house of Sarah and Derek in order to either kill them or get them out because they want their old house back, which they were foreclosed on in the past. And thank you for that Christmas present. That was so sweet of you. What Christmas present? What are you talking about? Oh, didn't you leave a Christmas present for Derek on the front steps? Couldn't have been that stalker we found in my house. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> it's so heavy! Yeah. Yeah. Did you throw it out the window? Yes! yes. Yeah, throw it out the window. <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, Derek throws away the present and the kid pulls it out of the garbage and finds out it's some uh, rollerblades that are going to be way too big for Derek anyway, so he would have never used them. Mm -hmm. So he puts them on and he's just being a shit to this guy who, who specifically makes note that his shit smells bad. Don't be a wise ass. I eat kids like you for breakfast. That's why my shit smells so bad. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Cool. 90s. Bye. That's right. That's his pickup line. Is my shit smells bad. It works. Yeah, and she's like, ah, let me get in there. The rollerblades were also sabotaged as uh, evil toys. They got some fireworks in there. Ah! 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 I don't know, just put a couple sparklers in your skates and uh, scream around. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? What the hell? Sweet. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> yeah! Oh. Oh, it's okay, he didn't die. <laughs> he turned into a uh, mummy. He went to the Neil Breen Hospital. <laughs> it's his, his head is still bleeding yeah, through the bandages. <laughs> AKA a child. bedroom. And that's when we find out, that's when uh, Kyle Reese shows up and uh, we find out that uh, he's Derek's dad. And There's a lot of interconnectivity in this film yeah. with the characters. No, when she first sees him, Sarah does run in terror. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa! Wait, what? Oh my god, this is a twist. Why did you run? He's the dad. He's probably the real dad. Why did you run from me? Oh, God. I don't know. Because the movie needed to have a scare. Oh, and then they excuse? fuck in the back of a Pinto. Yeah. Pino's Pinto? Her excuse. Pino. Whoa. They fuck in the back of... Pino Pinto. <laughs> Pino Pinto's Pinto? Way! <laughs> Pino Pinto's Pinto. Ooh. Pinto. Fuck them. I Sarah, like I want Pinto you to play with Pinto. my penis in Pino Pinto Pino Pinto. <laughs> Which is ironic because Kyle Reese gave her a tongue twister. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's pour a glass of Pinot Grigio from Pino, Pino's Pinto. For the penis play in the back of <laughs> Pino's. <laughs> <laughs> Pino, 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 Poppers. What's your portobello? <laughs> Poblano poppers. Yeah. Poblano poppers in my pig prosciutto yeah. with a glass of Pino Grigio. In the back of, of my, Pino Pinto's Pinto. Pinto. Italian cucking. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Italian cucking? Yes. Yeah, like yeah, cooking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, genius. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, uh, Very good. Thank you. Mm. 
So this entire movie, what we've is, needed is, is Pino watching from afar, masturbating <laughs> yeah. with his with his, oh, with his uh, non-gendered he... crotch. Oh my pimento! Oh, he ain't got no uh, pimento. Dad only needed to do so much. This entire movie has nope. needed boobs and blood, and we have uh, no boobs and blood yet. We get we get like forty minutes of that guy's ass in his tidy whitey underwear. Why did yeah. they flip that? Right. And have the the woman's with butt. her were there shiny panties? Remember that the, the the robot hand is like yeah. it's like massaging his butt cheeks. Yeah. And like, the, and who, then she's just who are you making this movie for? Flip those two and have the ladies' butt getting or red. at least Nothing. have it even. Like people want to see the man's butt, that's great, but we want to see the ladies' butt too. We want to equality because equality. the tiny toy robot hand that was groping them looked very small. <laughs> Was it? Was it, it was Derek? Mickey Rooney. I, I, it was I, Mickey Rooney. I don't want to know. It, it was definitely Mickey Rooney. It was Mickey Rooney. Hopefully, oh, yeah, it wasn't yeah. Derek. It was definitely Mickey Rooney. Yeah. Definitely Mickey Rooney. I'll yeah. be in your horror movie, but let me touch that the was man. Him. That was Mickey Rooney. <laughs> <laughs> he said a hand costume. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Someone built tiny bullets for these tiny guns. Mickey oh Rooney's got a lot of time. Yeah. I just can't believe she's still moving. <laughs> yeah. After that shot. Shot to the right, the chest. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. How is she still alive? She got shot in the heart. <laughs> uh, this oh. Went a little high. Oh. <laughs> this really sucks. Going. This is great. <laughs> they could okay. give us a little bit more of that at the start yeah, of the Yeah, thing. it feels like it's really just built it all into the one It was very concentrated. It's great. <laughs> that babysitter can take a beating. Fucking <laughs> hey, How does she not die? No, this she was takes, she takes unbreakable fucking, like, levels of like, superhero What do we action. say, like 60 cal fucking shot to the chest and like... Yeah, she's, yeah. Like, she's like fucking Wolverine. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, yeah. her boyfriend is getting spikes to the sternum and getting like saw blades up and he's dead. He's dead as shit. He's just, he's and, saw that here. He's like, oh, I'm dead. But her, man, f she's f***ing taking f shotgun rounds to the chest directly to the fucking sternum. We thought that fucking, you can that see, fucking you like. You see the fucking hole. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh my God. She's still alive. She won't die. Jesus Christ. Oh God. She's lost all of her blood. <laughs> Why did you ever get shot in the chest? <laughs> Uh, uh, Mickey Rooney took your kid, so Sarah fucking takes <laughs> off. <laughs> Disney favorite Mickey Rooney took your kid. And everything's ramped up by this point. The so final it's, finale, it's, yeah. yeah. We work our way in, and, and Kyle Reese gets shot in the face by Mickey Rooney and with a squirt gun of yes. something that hurts a little. It's, 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 it's like it's, it's, semen or something. It's a water that just knocks him out for a little while, I guess. Yeah, I guess. It's knockout I water. Guess. It was Mickey Rooney's <laughs> sleeping medicine. <laughs> oh, oh no. So it was Mickey, Mickey Rooney's melon soda? It was just full of that? Yeah. yeah. Mickey Rooney, where'd you, get this, uh, where'd you get this squirt gun? Barred it from Bill Cosby. Well, he got from Bill Cosby. <laughs> Do you remember when Mickey Rooney poured himself a pint glass of Jack Daniels and <laughs> down it in one drink? Hosed it like a college freshman looking for a good time? And then Absolutely. Like, like, you trying to tell me that's, in, that's, an, that's acting? Oh. Okay, Mickey, you ready to start rolling? <laughs> that man, that man lived another 20 years after this movie, goddammit. Who are you? Cool. That was a great sign. <laughs> Splorked. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> and we get a cool robot head effect. Excellent effect. I Take, loved it. You know, we get a face off moment, which is beautiful. Uh, Pino comes back on. Pino disrobes, and we see full, yeah. uh, full lack of Pino. He's like a will. Ken doll. He's yeah, like a robot. His, the, the costume is really fucking clever because he's a robot. 
and they didn't make him look like a robot. Mm-hmm. He looks like like a like a GI Joe doll. Yeah, like, like that's, a toy. that's yeah. it's very clearly supposed to look like a toy. No, and, yes. And honestly, the actor is doing a really good job with the robotic movements. He's really he's, he's performing all into was, it. Was like amazing. The performance is good, and the costume is great thematically. I am giving this movie full credit for that. When he found out I rigged those toys and sent them to your house, he was so angry with me. But don't you see? <gasps> oh Jesus. <laughs> Um, Derek has to die. Uh, then trying you to be my mommy. Damn you! Uh, you me, you know, Derek. I can be your son now. Wait. Then you, stop trying to fuck me. <laughs> <You're> trying to, <laughs> there's a whole lot going on in this scene. I can love you like a real son. I can. I can. I can. I can. Oh, oh Lord. my God! <laughs> Heaven help me. I love you. Yeah, Brian Houston wrote this. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Oh my god! Uh, I was trying to be anywhere else when that scene was going on. Did you leave your body too? Yeah. Yeah. I do, I do yeah. too. It was weird. Yeah. It was it, like it's something that in a significantly more interesting movie could have been a chilling moment, but sure. in this schlock fest was just kind of weird enough. It, w- it was gross. Yeah. It was strange. It was, gross. It it was, was felt strange. Weird. Yeah. I, I mean, I get it. Like he's a robot. He doesn't quite. I don't know. What the fucking part was? It been like is, it feels like something you know, Kevin Smith wrote. He's like a toy, but he's gonna try and like fuck the mom. I love the idea of a robot, a, a modern retelling of Joe Petto. Oh, and this fucked up android. Yeah, oh. we didn't need the other toys. The robot could have just walked around and. Sure. Yeah. Like the toys were superfluous. They needed, to make, they needed to make it a Silent Night, Deadly Night movie. That's what the name they were contractually yeah. obligated to make a sequel to said. Yeah. And so you need so Christmas. Weird. You need you need Christmas themed killings, not Pinocchio themed killings. You can killings. still do that though. You can still do that. What you needed. Dresses up as a Santa man. Yeah. What just you, just call yeah. it something else. It's just the time of the year. It's Christmas time. It's you can do that. Call it marionettes. But what oh, we needed. Oh, well, you are a pun fire machine tonight. But what Mary we needed. Marionette. Yeah. What we needed was like. And then, uh, and then the mom's name is Annette. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's like triple puns. Yeah. <laughs> I think like that is one a- avenue they could have gone down where they made like an interesting thriller. The other avenue is just give us more fucking toy kills or, or a proper escalation. Sure, uh, little toy, little toy, and gets better. It was yeah. like little toy, little toy, boom! The big, the big. <laughs> well, uh, well, well, little toy, little toy, nothing. Then thirty then toys. Boom. Yes. Yeah. yeah, the yeah, fuck, we the need... fuck fest in the child's bedroom turned into an orgy of blood. Yes. <laughs> You're safe now, Derek. I'm gonna take care of you. Who the fuck are you? Who is she? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> yes! Ah! Okay, it's time to talk about me and Christmas. A movie J picked. <laughs> And then decided not to be on the panel. Hey, yeah, How what? coincidental. You know what, Jay? Would you like to tell us about me, Christmas? Oh, so we're the only animated thing. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? What, what is the, what? Where I are don't they know. Going? Why is the They're action going to scene Kurt's happening? House. Oh. Boo! It's going to be 15 minutes of this, isn't it? <laughs> the low quality of the animation is intriguing. Uh, yes. It's it's very like, oh, we found this in the bin at the dollar store, kind of junk. Sometimes those can be fun. This one, ooh. Oh. Driving is terrifying! <laughs> Wait, this is this is awful. Cars just drive on arbitrary sides yeah. of the road? Uh, no, just him. No, the other cars no, were too. Right. Yeah. Because he had to go to one side and then go to yeah. the other side to avoid hitting. Oh, God. Yeah. They're everywhere. This They're... is terrible. <laughs> My ass! <laughs> What'd you find? What does it say? Gu- it says guaranteed, guaranteed superior quality. quality. 
We want our money back. He just, just decided to print that yeah. there. What's, I don't know what he's... What's, what's the definition of superior? Yeah, exactly. Was this, was this made at a computer that was sunken in Lake Superior? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, like literal superior Jesus. quality. It, yeah. could, it could literally be anything. Maybe he's just it talking about... It was made about, in a waterlocked computer. Yes. He, he, this he, is superior quality. He could be talking about the quality of the construction of the physical DVD He went to the itself. very it's, best duplicating company to get it done. But, um, uh, so, uh, Guy... Selfish Aliens. Yeah. Oh, oh what's this guy's oh, yeah. name? Schlepp? Michael Schlepp. Schlepp. Um, it's Schlepp, let's be honest. Michael Schlepp had an old computer that could make a, the most rudimentary CGI animation and decided to, to, to make a film called Me Christmas and package it as deceptively <laughs> as a feature film. Me, me, me. Me, 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 my. Selfish aliens. Sel okay, okay, base level. Selfish aliens uh, try to take over Earth. Uh -huh. There's a selfish lady on Earth, uh, and two teens have to learn a valuable lesson about sharing and uh, the meaning of Christmas to change but their mother's mind to drive off the selfish aliens. Yeah, and to stop her from committing murder. Business is business. A little higher, Frank. Mom! The guy's in there! <laughs> Dude! It doesn't matter. Help me! Stop, because it's Christmas, Mom. It's not about... I told you. Presents. I it's fucking it's told you! It's not about me. There. He's going to die. No, oh, you're lucky he doesn't have any family. Oh my god, he just killed him. He just... Uh, also, that is the length of actual plot given in the in the short because what, yeah, a good half happens, of it is just what driving. In this they drive, Rich. They drive. Oh, they, 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 drive. <laughs> they drive their car for about ten minutes. Thanks for letting me drive. Rich. <laughs> I'm overtaken with Christmas spirit. I don't know what's wrong with it. Rich. Oh my god. No. <laughs> Then they, yeah, then they, the, then the they aliens stab some aliens. <laughs> in the head. In the head. They just and decide to do this. Unmotivated. Uh-huh. We're, uh, we're Santa Claus. From this <laughs> <laughs> Collectively. That's good. I like that. <laughs> we stab him? What? Oh, man. You okay, Kurt? Yeah, I'm just okay, still really high. We stab high. him in the head. This is really violent and weird. Uh. Ow. Jesus. My brain. <laughs> They're both stabbed in the head. Oh, I think it's supposed to be a syringe. So. Um, oh, oh, it's no. mind control. <laughs> How did he know to do? Oh God, I don't. I don't know. This is awful. Kevin, what'd you do? I don't know. I just crammed that thing into their heads. <laughs> he doesn't fucking know either. <laughs> It's just a little fun scene that happens because they're on the road trip going somewhere and they run into the aliens and then they go on the alien ship and they fly around the, the galaxy. <laughs> this is cool. Nuki! Oh, God. This is a little weak on plot. <laughs> Throw that out there. <laughs> Gonna stop that sentence early, Mike. Yeah, it's a, it's a little weak. What's the guy's Max? Um, Max 
Spikes? Spear, spikes. Spikes. Spikes is the old man. Spikes. Mr. Spikes Mr. is the spikes. old man named Spikes. He lives in a lighthouse that the mom wants to tear down. Yeah, he has and a she... sign that has the mom's face with like no sign around yeah. it. He's like, no, I don't like her. But apparently he's already lost and she's ready to tear the shit down. He's the only one who can stop the aliens and somehow the aliens know this. Yes. So they send two aliens dressed like Santa Claus to Earth, presumably to murder him. Yeah. And then they try to shoot the mother, but apparently the mother is the only woman on the planet who is immune to the alien weapon. It's nonsensical. It's a definition of nonsensical. I'd say it was because she's a selfish person, but why would aliens who are selfish make a weapon that I, doesn't work on and selfish the alien people? did I, hurt the or the weapon did I, hurt the aliens who were also selfish. It did hurt them. Yeah. So that's not it. So that's not so it. So anyway, the kids are like, "Hey mom, it's Christmas." And she's like, "Oh yeah, I shouldn't knock this lighthouse down." It's that one scary woman with the big hair. My mom's the one woman on earth your stun gun doesn't work on. Jesus Christ. How could something be so bad? This guy's name is Michael. Sh this is the bigger story here. The other, it's 22 minutes and the rest of the running time are two old public domain cartoons that are special features on this, which are not even listed. No, on the that. one's like 45 minutes long. Yeah, yeah. they're just so it's clearly junky old, old public domain cartoons. But the, the deception is listing a feature length running time and then for 20 minutes of original, mater yeah. original material yeah. that's all terrible. And so there's a his his IMDb profile lists all these very knockoffy looking like Plan B. Knockoffy is even giving him too much credit. Like rip off. Oh, what was cash it's, in? It's almost comical. Red box. Uh, oh, Charlotte's Web ripoff. Spider's oh, Web of Pig's Tail. Charlotte's <laughs> Web is so old; it's probably in the public domain at, at this, this point. point. Yeah. But anyways, are, are are these features they they claim to be but on who our knows, twenty five minutes? I mean, this right. said twenty minutes long. They got a. Yeah, Shit this says public domain cartoons after them. But the point is, I think he's making these junk, um, junk, quickly made CG things to just sell to Walmart, yes. Kmart, yes. the Dollar Tree. Yeah, it's it's listed as an attribute in his IMDb profile, which I'm sure he wrote himself. I've sold, I mean, he's sold films that have made it into Kmart, the Kmart junk bin. Yeah. And it's like, ooh. We've all seen those like red box exclusive, like like Princess Archer Lady that has, you know, uh, art very reminiscent of, bra you know, a brave princess, yeah. right? Grandma bought this at the dollar store for the kids. Exactly. Even Disney. your red box <laughs> mockbusters are of better quality than this. This the, is like, oh, yeah, the asylum could blow this away. This is like sold in 7-Eleven, like a gas station, <laughs> like discount bin for like 50. Is this, this is right it's next to the trucker tapes? It's a vending tapes? machine in yes. the 7-Eleven <laughs> restroom. Yeah, oh. it's like It's like the bottom of the barrel. Right, right under right under condoms and penis enlargement pills right. you can get you, you get me put, christmas pop a quarter in and get me christmas oh, yeah. yeah just just at the truck stop yeah. give your kid for a christmas gift Ugh. Sorry, I've been on the road all year. Yeah, he's a kid's one of the yeah. Disney movies. <laughs> yeah, I this was is like, weird. What you, is this? You can, you can buy them as, as Home Depot as like a doorstop. Said you should buy your son something nice for Christmas, a Disney film that you could get at the gas station bathroom dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone for teaching me what Christmas is truly about. What is well, it about? We don't know. Not knocking down a lighthouse. Merry Christmas. Ooh, that boner is ooh. <laughs> <laughs>Hello, everyone, this has been the worst Christmas ever. <laughs> I can say with, with absolute certainty, mm. the worst Christmas mm. ever. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not just the, well, uh, not just the episode, but just the worst Christmas ever. In and general, it's not even yeah. Christmas yet. But now it's time to pick the best of the worst of our three films. And uh, well, I certainly know it's not me Christmas. So we don't even have to put that in the, in the, in the running, but someone could pick it if they're an asshole. Mike. I don't know, but I'm hosting apparently. So Josh, what's your pick the best or the worst? What I decided at some point was that I was going to... Make it quick! <laughs> Fine, it's cancel Christmas. Eat really? What? Yeah, you know why? Yeah, tell me why. It's the most Christmassy. Oh, okay. Any reason? 
Yeah, oh. any reason. No, I decided whatever, really? whichever okay. of these movies was the most Christmassy that's a good, was the one I was going to oh, pick. Okay, and it's canceled Christmas, even though it fucking sucks shit. But it's the most Christmassy movie we watched today. I tried to make a Christmas dinner. Uh, Rich, what's your pick for best It's Jack, it's Jack's turn. You skip Jack. No, they can go out any order. He can do whatever the fuck he oh, wants. Oh, apparently, uh, uh, he's saving he me, apparently. We'll I, see I, what I guess happens. he is. Because uh, uh, I was going to give you a Christmas present. I'm, you know what? Just, just for you, Mike. I'm not picking me Christmas. Just for you, I'm picking me Christmas. What? Why just would you do that? Merry, Merry, you know what? You've been my friend for many years, Mike, and this is just, this is just my way of saying Merry Christmas. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick me Christmas too as the best of the worst. Well, I certainly know it's not me Christmas. Let's, let's give Michael Schlepp some, <laughs> some money. Michael Schlepp. Everyone go out and order me Christmas as your Christmas gift for your friend. You can get it at Kmart here. for a dollar. <laughs> you could find a Kmart. Then. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> if everyone gave everyone they loved a, a DVD copy of me Christmas for Christmas. <laughs> then no one would have to talk to anybody ever again. Yes, everyone would stop You'll talking. never be invited back to your family Christmas. We could finally you... end Christmas forever. Yes. We could cancel Christmas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get on Amazon, everybody, and order Me Christmas on DVD for 50 cents or whatever it costs. You're welcome. <laughs> and Jack, you don't get a vote today. <laughs> oh, Rich, Rich is taking your vote away. Because it doesn't wow. matter. It's, I guess. It just doesn't matter what I vote for I'm so for curious. Anymore. I want to, Jack. Wow. I want to know what Jack... Your gift to me is your vote, which I am also giving to me Christmas. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. You're Whoa. taking my vote. <laughs> it's a Christmas no, miracle. No, no, Jack. That's your Christmas gift to me. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait a minute. You can't impose a Christmas gift <laughs> on did. someone. I just Oh, you I didn't <laughs> see anyone stop me. Are you just spreading magic? You're just, you're I like trying to stop me, but you, I'm you Santa are. Plus, you're Mike. like Judd Nelson. You're I'm Santa Claus, Mike. Rich. Rich, you're not spreading Christmas cheer. You are stealing Christmas cheer. No, I no, love it. No, it's a gift. <laughs> Can you make me a wheelchair <laughs> ramp too? No, I can't. Fuck you. You are your fucking objective. I already this Christmas. gave you me Christmas. <laughs> Oh, God. Happy Christmas, Mike. I can't believe the worst thing we've ever seen in our whole life <laughs> has won best of the worst. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's appropriate. This somehow. one had that, 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 that robot so bloody fuck fest in the child's bedroom, <laughs> which was like an epic yeah. scene. And none of us picked it. And not none of us one. Picked it. I don't not, know how. No it. one picked it. No one would have picked that. Absolutely not. <laughs> Definitely not me. That you didn't have happened. Vote. You gave your vote to Apparently, Rich. I gave my vote to Rich. Yeah, so you're right. Nobody voted for... The, the ultimate irony is that today is actually Jack's actual birthday, and he, he did not get a vote. <laughs> and Rich stole my birthday Christmas gift. And gave it to me Christmas. The worst goddamn thing we've ever seen, ever, has won best of the worst. I mean, it is all, really, Christmas is all about greed. <laughs> oh. It really is. It really is. You, yeah. tell, you can tell a kid that they're not getting Christmas gifts. What the fuck do you think is going to happen? You know, they're going to they're gonna steal someone else's gift. <laughs> Christmas is about unmitigated greed. All of these movies about the Christmas spirit, it's all fucking bullshit. How about, and, 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 and deep in your hearts, you know I'm right. That's why the winner of this is repackaged public domain cartoon. Yeah. Because, because I buy that for a dollar. <laughs> we Christmas is the true Christmas spirit. The true Christmas spirit of shoveling on crap in the dollar stores under false pretenses to make a quick fucking buck. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Merry Christmas, motherfucker. Uh, well, if that's not an ending, I don't know what is.